Julian, you have seen these thousands and thousands of documents. What most surprised you? Is there a story or stories, a category, that has most disturbed you? Well, it, it's, it's the big picture of the war, uh, that nearly all the deaths uh, are in incidences that kill just one or two people. Um, a little, little girl on the street um, who would, in a yellow dress who would frequently go to uh, collect candy and so on uh, from US troops one day. Uh, a, t a tank goes past and for an inexplicable reason um, a, sh a shooter comes out of the US tank and, and, um, and blows her away. There, there are just so many of these uh, incidences. You know, I spoke before about checkpoint killings uh, in one incident um, after, after um, the car was uh, shot up um, and, and examined according to these internal US military reports. Um, the uh, man killed was a doctor uh, delivering uh, a pregnant woman uh, to, to the hospital. We see a very interesting example of a, a town of 40,000 uh, on the Syrian border um, whose population went from 40,000 uh, to 2,000 um, over um, a, a year or so. And um, that town and that circumstance has not been reported in any, uh, not been reported at all uh, that we could find um, in the uh, mainstream media or in fact uh, in the alternative media. There was just no reporters there uh, as that town collapsed and people fled um, across to Syria. We can see 285,000 casualties. Uh, that's added up report by report. That's each casualty, where it happened, when it happened, uh, and who was involved, according to internal U.S. military reporting. Now, looking at particular groups of casualties, uh, we can see, for example, um, over 600 civilians uh, killed at checkpoint killings, including 30 children, uh, previously, um, uh, mostly previously un unreported. That. Um, three quarters uh, of those killed at checkpoint killings, according to the United States military itself, were, uh, um, were civilians. And only one quarter, uh, according to the US military internal reporting, uh, were insurgents. We see 284 uh, reports covering torture or other forms of prisoner abuse by coalition forces covering 300 uh, different uh, people. We see over a thousand uh, reports of torture and other uh, prisoner abuse by the Iraqi state itself. Many or most of those uh, receiving uh, no um, meaningful investigation.